This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. Today what we're going to do is take a look at something called the Law of Cosines and we're going to use it to find one of the sides of this triangle. Okay, uh, first of all, here's something you need to know about Law of Cosines is that the formula uh, we use have uh, the letters A, B, and C in it. And it turns out that uh, the formula is based off of uh, first the angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label these angles. In other words, I'm going to call this angle A, I'm going to call this angle B, and I'm going to call this angle C. Now the way we label the sides is based on these angles. So I know that if this is angle C, opposite it is got to be side C. Uh, okay, so big C is the angle, little c is the side. Okay, likewise if this is angle B, this has to be little b for side b. Okay, that means that if this is angle A, obviously opposite it is little a. Okay, so uh, for this problem, what we're going to do is figure out what is the side for A. Now, uh, the reason why I know I can use the law of cosines is because I'm given two sides. I got one side there, I got the other side there, and I have the angle between them. So that is the requirement for finding the side. So you give these two sides and the angle between them, and we could use a formula. Okay, well, first of all, we need a formula, which I'm going to put right up there. All right, so now that we've got a formula, what we're going to do is plug in the uh, information based on these letters. So, for instance, i got A squared. Well, I don't know what A is, so I'm just going to call that A squared. Uh, let's see, b squared, so that would be 375 squared. Uh, then it's c squared, so that would be 400 squared. Okay, then it's minus 2 times uh, b, which is 375, times c, which is 400, times the cosine of angle a, which is 35. Okay, so I think I was able to squeeze that in, and uh, we have that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is place all of this information that we see, and honestly, you just place it right into a calculator, uh, and most calculators nowadays, you just plug it in exactly as you see it, like the TI Inspire. So uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to plug all that in, and I'm going to figure out what the answer is. All right, so I plugged it in the calculator, and it looks like I'm getting a large number. I'm getting 5, 4, 8, 7, 9, 0.3867. So I'm getting a very large number. Okay, so that's what A squared is. I don't want A squared. I want A. So to, to undo the square, you take the square root of both sides. And that's what I'm going to do. Take the square root. Okay, so let's see. If I take the square root, I'm going to get 234.3. Everything's in meters, so this has to be in meters also. Alright, so that is side A. And there you have it. That's all there is to using the law of cosines to find a side. It's uh, fairly easy. And uh, what we would do at this point, since we now know an angle and a side, we would use the law of sines to find either angle B or angle C. So I suggest you check out our video on using the law of sines to do that. It would show you how to find those other two uh, angles. Alright, so make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our interactive quizzes, instructional videos, and lessons. Take care.